Yo, you know what time it is. The day has finally arrived. Today we're doing my top 10 favorite actors, okay? Actors are fundamental to nerd culture. Why? Because they're the ones acting in the movies. And movies are pivotal to nerd culture. So here we are. Like any of these ranking videos, you know, they give you a sense of what's going on out there, but also they're a deeper dive, a deep look into the soul of Trevor David Jones, of who I am. So they're a lot of fun to do. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. Number 10, necessary, Arnold Schwarzenegger. What you gonna do without Arnold Schwarzenegger? He got it all started. Seven time Mr. Olympia, you know, the Terminator. Go watch Terminator 2. That's one of my favorite movies of all time. I'm gonna make a video about that at some point, probably in the near future, no pun intended. Come on, man, Arnold, Arnold, bro. Man's a swole, a legend, been holding down for a long time. Um, I could go on and on, but yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger, he always had that delivery on screen, just like to the point, um, but you know, with the strength, the energy. And he's also, as we're gonna get into many of the people on this list, a legitimate comedian. Arnold Schwarzenegger ain't no pretend comedian. That dude is funny, he's legit. Put the cookie down. I mean, come on, man. These are like classic lines, bro. So yeah, starting the list off appropriately, all time, my man Arnold Schwarzenegger at number 10. Number nine. All right, all right, Tom Cruise. You, you can never sleep on Tom Cruise. You just can't. That man's doing his own stunts, you know what I'm saying? Out there wiling and styling, freestyling, Mission Impossible. Tom Cruise is just good. And the thing about Tom Cruise is he mainly does like action movies now, but he's got the drama chops and he has like forever. He's a legitimate actor. So, you know, it's he's very popular. So it's like, oh, of course you say Tom Cruise. Nah, man, like don't sleep. Tom Cruise is legit. So... He's a, he's a legitimate contender for number nine in this list. Number eight, also holding it down, kind of for the 90s crowd, anyone in, you know, kind of my age group, Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. Now, Brad Pitt is one of the actors where I could understand if maybe, you know, if he, no shade on Brad Pitt, I love Brad Pitt a lot, if he necessarily wasn't on the list. You know, people are always Brad Pitt. You know, he's got the muscles, you know, he's got the hair. You know, what does acting have to do with anything? Nah, man, that dude can act. And the funny thing about Brad Pitt is, it's like he turned 40 or whatever, and he was like, you know what? I'm gonna act. I remember when I saw The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Remember, I've seen Fight Club, I've seen Seven. Like, I've, again, 90s, you know, Brad Pitt is a part of like, you know, almost like my life, our lexicon. I've seen this dude. Um, so when Benjamin Button finally came out, I was like, you know, I'd heard it was good. I'm like, how good can this movie really be? Come on, man. He's like, he just literally woke up one day and was like, yeah, I'm actually going to act. Obviously, it was always in there. That movie is insane. It's just incredible. Go see it if you haven't. Yeah, man. Brad Pitt's been holding it down for a long time. He's good on screen. You know, he's got the presence. You know, he's got the, he's got the voice. You know, he's, he's got the, uh, he's, he's in there. He's, he's in there like swimwear, so to speak. So yeah, you can't sleep on Brad Pitt. Um, he's a, num he's a, a solid pick for number eight on the list. Number seven, moving up the list a little bit, Denzel Washington. Now, don't laugh because you're like, <laughs> how is Den not only how is he number seven, how is he not number one? Denzel is easily one of my favorite actors of all time. But like I said, this is my, this is my list of my favorite actors. And we're going to get into, you know, the top of the list a little bit later. Yeah, Denzel's great. I mean, what do I need to say? He's one of the few people on here that I could just say number, you know, whatever, Denzel Washington and move on. Because... I mean, multiple time, you know, well, Academy Award winner, um, extreme dramatic ability, comedic ability, plays the hero. He plays the villain like no one else. It's Denzel. One of my favorite movies of all time is Malcolm X. I remember watching Malcolm X. I saw that like at three o'clock in the morning um, on an Air Force base. But the point is, it, it dang like changed my life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, you can't sleep on Denzel. Again, I don't really need to say too much. The Equalizer? Whatever point he is on this list is going to be appropriate. Maybe, probably say number one, but this is my list. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Just, he's one of my favorite actors of all time, without question. And on this particular list, he comes at number seven. Now, number six, don't laugh, no pun intended. Paul Rudd. <laughs> don't laugh. You're like, how, don't turn the video off. You're like, how is this dude putting Paul Rudd at the next bottom of Denzel Washington? Paul Rudd's a great actor. I love Paul Rudd. He's hilarious. And he's not just like pretend funny. He's for real funny, man. If you need if you need any like access into why Paul Rudd is funny, you need to know what's going on, go back and watch I Love You, Man. You want to talk about like an underground hit. You have to like struggle to not be in tears while watching that movie. And everyone in it is funny. 
Um, Jason Siegel, I believe he's in that movie. But the one who really holds it down is Paul Rudd. Rashida Jones is funny in that movie. But Paul Rudd is just like, that's when I saw the movie and he became instantly one of my favorite actors because y'all see it like I'm struggling for work because it was so over the top and so ridiculous. So yeah, Paul Rudd, is, he, as Ant-Man, Scott Lang, what do we need to say? I mean, he's great. Ended up being pivotal to the whole Infinity War saga. Yeah, man, he's funny in those movies. But Paul Rudd is, and he's in that other movie, Our Idiot Brother or whatever. I, I could look up the title, but I believe that's what it's called. Bro, he's on another level. Just watch his films. You'll see Paul Rudd. He's not just like kind of funny. He's like out there funny. He's legit. So an easy entry for number six on my list. Number five, top five, top five, top five. Um, now we're getting to like heavyweights, heavy hitters, so to speak. They're all good. I mean, it's 10 out of thousands of actors. They're all like top, top tier. Bless you. But top five, we out here now. Number five, Jack Black. This isn't even difficult. Jack Black is just one of those like talented people. Just talented. You know, comedic ability, again, 90s, Jack Black has kind of been in the lexicon. He's been around for as long as I've been watching media or, you know, doing anything involving a TV screen. Um, so he's always been there. But it wasn't until later on that I learned, like, not just how funny he is, but then I learned how talented he is. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. What really put me on was, um, and actually, comedically enough, it was Jack Black that inspired me to make the, to do this video. Because I'd had the top 10 actors waiting in the wings for a while, but I watched his Saxaboom thing on um, Jimmy Fallon. Look that up. Just, just Jack Black, Saxaboom, Jimmy Fallon. And I was like, okay, now it's time to make this video. Um, just talented, just over the top. His comedic ability, Nacho Libre is one of my favorite films of all time. It has to be. Uh, top, and they may not the top 10, but like top 50 for sure, easily. Like the scene where he's doing the D3, like, that movie's beyond funny. And that's the movie that sold me. That's when Jack Black became one of my favorite, like people in, you know, quote unquote Hollywood was, was I'd already liked him like before. But that was what did it. Obviously, Tropic Thunder, classic, but Nacho Libre. Yeah, man. But as time has gone on, he's just, he's got the musical ability. He's, like most of the people on this list, not no halfway comedian. He's a real comedian. He's ridiculous. It's Jack Black. To the point that he's number five on my list of all the actors that I know about. This dude is on fleek. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Big shout out to Jack Black. Holding it down. Search Jimmy Fallon's Saxa Boom. You won't be disappointed. It's Jack Black. Number five on the list. Moving up. Number four, I told you we're getting heavyweights, Christian Bale. In no universe, in no reality, can you ever sleep on Christian Bale. The dude's OP. He's just legit. Again, you know, it, he's kind of on this list on that Denzel level where I could just put a number and say Christian Bale and move on. Because it's like, what, what do you want me to say about this dude? He's legit. I mean, uh, Batman. Come on, man. Y'all know Batman's my favorite character of all time. Fictional. Just period. He murdered those movies, like slayed them. Ridiculous. He's our Batman. He's the Batman of our time. We all know that. And later I ended up seeing uh, The Prestige, probably the best part of that movie. Not Hugh Jackman's great in the movie too. He really is good. But it's Christian Bale. John Connor. He was the only good part about those films. Actually, the CGI was pretty good too. It wasn't bad. It wasn't terrible. But he held him down. And then maybe secretly, one of his best roles of all time, Frickin' Gore, the God Butcher, and Thor, you know? He was... Chris Hemsworth held it down. Don't get it twisted. Everyone held it down. But you can watch my review. He was OP in that film. It's Christian Bale. You know what I'm saying? Like, the emotion, everything it brought to it. Just crazy. Just crazy. Yeah, yeah. He he just has the ability. You know what I'm saying? And um, Christian, Christian Bale, he, he's got some comedic ability. There's some, like, real comedians on this list, but... He's got, you know, every aspect it takes to make an actor in spades to the point that he's my number four on this list because, I mean, yeah, man. It, Christian Bale, I got you, Christian Bale. I'm out here for you, man. I see you with the beard. <laughs> Shout out Australia. I got you. Number four on the list. We out here. Number three, top three. So you get a little, little podium, you know, the heavy hitters of the heavy, heavy hitters. Um, people are legit. So let's jump right in. Number three, my favorite actor, Keanu Reeves. Oh, Keanu Reeves. <laughs> Again, what, what can I really say, man? It's Keanu Reeves. Dude, just legit. Obviously, see, Keanu Reeves is one of those people that's like, you got to go look into the tapes to see what he's really about. You know what I'm saying? 
Go back and watch Bill and Ted. He's got all the comedic ability. That's people probably thought he was a comedian for his whole life. You know what I'm saying? He's always just a comedian, kind of a silly actor. Maybe wrote him off. But this dude's funny. Comes back in 1999 with The Matrix, which would be my favorite movie of all time, just because I can get into The Matrix at a different time. That movie is just is transcendent. It really is. Um, but he came back in 1999 doing straight action, doing the kicks, the uppercuts, dodging the Keanu, Bill and Ted. Yeah, Bill and Ted, Keanu, holding it down. And then, like I said, it's almost a meme to say you like Keanu now because you got John Wick, you got Cyberpunk. So it's like, oh, Keanu's the best. You know, he has this reputation. He's like a super nice guy. So it's like, everyone's like, oh, we love Keanu. No, nah, man, I, deep in the guy, I've been liking Keanu Reeves for a long time just because he's legit. Speed? Back when he had a crew cut? Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, Keanu Reeves is legit. And the thing about Keanu is like he turned his delivery as just an actor um, became like an art form in John Wick. Like kind of like that voice. He doesn't say too many words. Kind of like, you know, very straight to the point. It John Wick encapsulated what his whole acting vibe is. But in like, y'all not only use the word perfect too often, nine near perfection. It's all there. And then those movies are just dope in and of themselves. Yeah, man, he's an easy A-lister, probably an S-lister as far as like, as notoriety, he's on the S-list. So, but you know, acting acting um, ability, easy A-lister, S-lister, I have to think about that later. I have to really think about it. But the point is he's like way out there. This is Keanu Reeves we're talking about. Number three actor of all time for me, easily. So let's keep him on the list. Here's the top two. And the second one would be number one if it weren't for number one. I know I always say that on my list, but like the second one would be number one because, you know, obviously they're number two, so no, but seriously, he would be. And for a while he kind of was, but then number one edged him out. Number two, Robert Downey Jr. Okay. So one of the things I harped on about Jack Black on number five is his talent. Just just talented. Just got the, the juice, the inner juice. RDJ might be the most talented person on this list, maybe with exception like Denzel. But I mean, that's a whole nother conversation. Robert Downey Jr., just talented. It's just in there, naturally, naturally. He has every characteristic of what it takes to be an actor. Dramatic ability, you know, screen presence, emotional intelligence, like, you know, weaving his way through emotions, facial expressions. And I almost don't even want to get into this because it almost goes without saying, but it, it needs to be mentioned. Comedic ability. <laughs> Bro, if he just decided to rebrand himself as a comedian, it wouldn't be that off-brand. It wouldn't be that off-kilter. To say our RDJ is funny is like an understatement, but he's not like a quote-unquote comedian. No, nah, it... Yeah, yeah, he's got it, man. Any scene where he just throws out the quips and it's not too like quippy, it's just appropriate, but he's so funny. Anything in Marvel, I almost don't even want to mention Marvel because we know what it is, it's Iron Man. So it's like, okay, we get it. Bro, Sherlock Holmes, 2009? Bro. Bro. Bro, this, these are top tier productions. I remember when I saw that because it was after Iron Man, which obviously shocked the world. So like I said, I don't need to get too deep into Marvel right now. Shocked me down like to my spirit. You know what I mean? But then don't sleep on Sherlock Holmes. I saw that in theaters and I was like, it was almost like a revelation. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. This is way too funny. Like the, the scene, the setting, his characterization. Like, can we get a Sherlock Holmes three? Bro, Jude Law is great in those movies, by the way. Watson held it down. But yeah, nah, it wasn't even light. Like it was legit. It was real acting presence. So yeah, RDJ, I think he was my number one for a while, actually. He's just too good. He's just too good. You know, you can take it back to Chaplin, you know, Academy Award nominated. The juice is in there. Um, just talented from top to bottom. Music, you know, we don't have to get into all that, but man, is a musician as well. An easy number two. Maybe the defining actor of the 21st century. I'm, I, you know, I'm thinking of this on the spot. Since you're literally the year 2000 until 2022, it would have to be RDJ. I mean, who I could I could hash that out some more, but yeah, like this man's held down the greatest film franchise of the 21st century. That's a whole nother video. RDJ, man, he might be the defining actor of the 21st century, definitely to this moment. I'm I'm gonna put my early ballad in right now. So I can go on and on. There's I mean, 
at this point, I could make a video about each one of these individuals. But yeah, RDJ, number two actor on the list. Easy place. And would be number one if it weren't for number one. Okay, I've said this in mul literally multiple videos at this point. So it's not a secret. If you watch any of my videos, if you watch anything I've done, you know who my number one favorite actor and the best actor in Hollywood or whoever, you know, whatever like acting sphere, theater sphere there is. He's just the best one out there. And it's none other than Dwayne Johnson. It doesn't matter what your name is, The Rock. The Rock. The Rock. The Rock's the best actor in Hollywood, bro. It's not, it's not even really that close. So y'all notice in my videos, I usually bring up the normal curve or the exponential curve, where as you get to the top, the distance between each um, point or each like uh, presence on the list grows larger. So, you know, five, six, and seven are pretty close. But by the time you get to three and two, it's like, okay, they're not, even though three and two are not that close, the distance between two and one on an exponential curve or on a normal curve is, is gargantuan. It's not even close. One is always like way out there somewhere. That's kind of what we're talking about with The Rock. Um, he's just too good. But RDJ is good though. Anyways, the normal curve rock. My favorite actor without question. What do I need to say? So he has every capability of being an actor. He has the presence, you know, uh, he can play the drama, understated, overstated. And again, like nine, eight out of 10 of the people on this list, I could count it out, but he's a real comedian. Not like a pretend comedian or someone who's like funny at your little cousin's birthday party. Nah, nah. The Rock, again, RDJ, a few of the other people, Jack Black, bless you, could rebrand himself as a comedian and just slide by. But it's just like one thing that he can do, but at the highest possible level. The Rock is extremely funny. We all know this. Raw, SmackDown, all of his films. Freaking Black Adam. Even his like delivery lines in there where he's like walking through walls and stuff. Those are funny. Man, yeah. It's The Rock. Man's a swole. As I've also said in multiple of my videos to this point, I'm always a fan of anyone working in this direction. You know, you don't want to go this direction ever, just in existence. Always go in this direction. And I'm a big fan of anyone getting swole. The Rock, is <laughs> the man's yoked up. Who doesn't like that? <laughs> man's a swole. I, you can't sleep on that. So yeah, man, um, Dwayne Johnson. I just did the Black Adam review. Great film. I can't tell you the rating here because obviously you need to go watch the video. But I will tell you again, I recommend it. It's The Rock. Um, yeah, number one actor in Hollywood. Not really that close. RDJ is great. RDJ is great. You know, ain't sleeping. But it's The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. Yeah, man. Uh, and that closes it out. That's the number one actor in Hollywood. And that's my list. So an honorable mention, I've got one honorable mention, necessarily, just so y'all know. My man, Owen Wilson. I almost put him on here, but he was in that Paul Rudd, Denzel space. So I was like, mm, okay, nah, you can't sleep on Owen Wilson, my G. Owen Wilson is, again, you're going to watch the movies and be in tears. He's just ridiculous. The accent, the like surfer, like I'm here, but I'm not kind of vibe, the hair. This dude's a clown. Like, <laughs> again, he's not pretend funny. He's for real funny. Is uh, Wedding Crashers, again, it's almost a meme to say that. We all know that Wedding, Wedding, Wedding Crashers is like a superlative, like, comedic film. You know what I mean? They probably couldn't even make that in today's times. You know, it had a lot of um, elements that are sensitive today. But anyways, it's over-the-top hilarious. It's one of my favorite films of all time. And once again, I'll get to that list, to that video at some point. Um, and then, I'd already seen Wedding Crashers, but later down the line, what consecrated Owen Wilson as one of my favorite actors without question was You, Me, and Dupree. Bro, go watch that. <laughs> go watch that. He's not pretend funny. He's for real funny. Sleeping on the couch is just crazy. He's crazy. Yeah, You, Me, and Dupree is a... <laughs> That's a great film. Go check that out. So, uh, yeah, yeah. I, can't, I couldn't close out a top 10 without throwing my man Owen. I have to give him, I have to give him the credit. The love he deserves. Owen Wilson, the one true honorable mention, got him on the list. Okay, now I'll, I usually do these in lists and it's, it's appropriate here. Notable exemptions. People who it's like, okay, I'm gonna need you to at least mention them or else, you know, we're gonna start questioning your sanity. So, okay, notable exemptions. And there's actually only one. And um, you probably know who it is. Leonardo DiCaprio. You're like, where's Leo? 
I mean, some people will say he's the defining actor of like anyone in my age group of our lives. It's Leonardo DiCaprio, you know what I'm saying? Just his name has that sound, it just sounds epic. Um, Leo can act, don't get it twisted, don't get it twisted. For whatever reason growing up, I just found Leo kind of like, I don't wanna say one note, but I don't know. Just the characters he played in movies, it just didn't resonate with me personally, but he can act. What made Leonardo DiCaprio what finally turned around for me personally, and I saw Titanic when I was a kid. Not a kid movie, by the way, at all. Um, I saw it later, it's a good movie. But yeah, I saw Titanic when I was a kid. You know, it's like, whatever, you got a ship. Freaking Kate Winslet. Kate Winslet, she she was looking right in that film, though. I can't I can't hate on that. I can't hate on Kate. You know, I gotta I gotta give credit where credit's due. But um, you know, it's just it's just not a movie for kids. But uh I saw the aviator years later, like when I was like 29 years old, something like that, 28. And I was sitting there in the dark watching that film like, this is on fleek. This dude actually has the gas. He can act. I'm almost, you know, 30 at this point. I saw it and I'm like, oh man, Leo is good. Aviator is just, man, you want to talk about great films. That might be, yeah, that's probably one of my favorite films of all time. It's just, I, I can't even get too much into Aviator right now. I've often said that if Leonardo DiCaprio should have won an Oscar, um, an Academy Award, it should have been for The Aviator. Like, why didn't he get it that year? Um, people have told me What's Eating Gilbert Grape. I still haven't seen that to this day. You know, maybe I'll go back and watch it. But he ended up getting it for The Revenant, which is a... <sighs> that film is out there. I'm not even gonna get into The Revenant right at this point in my life. But um, The Aviator? Bro. And then I ended up seeing, um, uh, not The Town, but The Departed recently, like within the last couple years. And amongst Jack Nicholson, who's horrifying in that movie, Mark Wahlberg, bro, like Leonardo DiCaprio is the best part of that film. And I'm saying that like, in that, not like the biggest Leo fan on earth, but I've recognized over time his talent. He's easily the best part of that film. Cause he's first of all, he's playing two characters. Well, spoilers for The Departed. Okay. He had the most to do in that film by far. And he did it. And he was good at acting. So yeah. Yeah, man. But just so just so you know, you know, everything's linked up in there. There's a reason why Leo's not on my top 10 list. Just never really resonated with me personally. I recognize his talent over time for sure. Like now at this day and age, I'm like, oh, you know, you know, I'll tell people Leo's legit. But just for me personally, top 10. Mm, but that's just a little backstory into my personal history. Like what, you know, my uh, perspective, uh, my view on Leonardo DiCaprio. And that's it. Now it's time for the outro. Now you know we out here, no pun intended. All right, man, so Black Panther's here out in whew, two days. Tomorrow night in a lot of places at the time of recording this. I'm not going out in the middle of the night to see it. Mexico City's getting a little cold out here, a little chilly, I'm from Texas. You know, like it hot, as they say. So we gotta keep the warmth, the warmth vibe going. Go out in the daytime, you know what I'm saying? Doing it big. So that's in two days. I'm gonna be there, just like I saw Black Adam, middle of the afternoon, first showing. I had the theater all to myself, whoo. That was dope. So yeah, man, I'm gonna be up in Black Panther for y'all. Early in the day, make the video, get the review out. We out here flexing. I got y'all. The Lego video I just made on the Mandalorian Starfighter, Skyfighter, no, this is out in space. The Starfighter, that was, I love doing those Lego videos. They're just fun. Legos are deep in the game with nerd culture. They're one of the key, one of the pivotal building blocks of, of nerd culture. So, you know, I love doing them. I got another one, a good one coming up soon. They're all good, but I got a good one coming up, so be ready for that. Yeah, check out that Lego video. It's a lot of fun. And of course, the show that really honestly needs no introduction, uh, My Hero Academia. <laughs> I'm doing a top 10 actors video wearing a My Hero Academia shirt. You know what I'm about. You know what it's about. Yeah, man, this show is um, it's just too powerful. It's just too powerful. You got so many elements. I just did the review whew, a couple days ago on the weekend, so check that out. And the next episode's coming out here in a few days. So I'm gonna do that, review, and have that ready for you. And with my hero, it's almost never a question of like, you know, did they or did they or blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna literally, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you how dope the episode was because you know it was. Because it was. Because it was. I got you. I'm gonna tell you how dope it was and recommend, like I do every week, that if for some reason you don't know what a TV is or a computer or... Buddha forbid, you just don't like anime, I'm gonna recommend it to you because you need to watch this show. It's just great. It's My Hero Academia. It's, it's OP. Check it out. And that's it. That's actually it.
That's a wrap. That's it, man. I got y'all. Mexico City, doing it big. Mexico City, it's getting a little chilly out here. It's on top of a mountain, you'll know the drill. As I always say, because I mean it, stay up. In life, you wanna be going this direction. You wanna be going, you wanna be going this direction, okay? You know, take that to the take that to the bank, cash that. Stay up. And that's all I got for you. I'ma see y'all in the next one. And it'll probably be pretty soon. Panther Claws. That's it. Peace.